A stunning shift is unfolding in the battery world. CATL, the global leader in lithium batteries, has dropped a bombshell. Nearly half of the future battery market could be powered not by lithium, but by sodium. That is the twist, because if anyone should be championing lithium, it is KATL. Yet the biggest name in lithium production is now betting big on an alternative. And that alone tells us lithium's dominance may not be as unshakable as once believed. Sodium ion batteries bring a lot to the table. Performance that rivals lithium at a fraction of the cost, with salt being far more abundant and accessible. It is no wonder CATL and others are pushing toward mass production. But the big question hangs in the air. Will sodium truly spark the next energy revolution, or will it forever remain in lithium's shadow? KTL is not just another player. It is the undisputed giant, holding nearly 40% of the global market as of 2023. With that kind of influence, their vision of the future is not just speculation, it is a roadmap the industry takes seriously. In a headline-making interview with Reuters in late 2024, CATL co-founder Robin Zeng flipped the script on battery hype. Instead of backing solid state as the next big thing, he doubled down on sodium ion, boldly predicting it could capture up to half of the market CATL already dominates. And this is not just talk. CATL has already cracked the code on integrating sodium batteries into its innovative hybrid packs, blending lithium and sodium cells to stretch the range of electric vehicles further than ever before. The sodium future is not coming someday. It is already starting to roll out. Such a breakthrough is particularly notable considering that the fundamental drawback of sodium is its lower energy density, something that typically means heavier and bulkier battery configurations. Because every gram and millimeter matter in EV design, such an accomplishment signifies excellent technical progress. From this achievement, CATL continues to reinforce its technological breakthroughs. The company is preparing to roll out its second-generation sodium battery in the latter part of this year, with an energy density of over 200 watt-hours per kilogram. While this is still below today's standard of 300 watt-hours per kilogram for the best lithium-ion batteries, it is a marked improvement from its predecessor's 160 watt-hours per kilogram and forcefully illustrates substantial technological advancement. But KTL is not alone in this revolution. Other firms around the world are also racing to boost sodium-ion battery production capacity, positioning themselves for what appears to be an inevitable large-scale market shift. The question is, therefore, whether or not sodium batteries really are the future of battery science, and if so, what specific hope Robin Zeng and the industry in general have for this new technology? Because while lithium continues to dominate the spotlight, sodium is quietly checking every box that matters. Cost, abundance, safety, and scalability. So what exactly makes this humble element such a strong contender in the battery race? The underlying principles of sodium ion batteries are a very basic technological breakthrough. These novel power storage units bear a remarkable resemblance to their lithium-based counterparts, sharing the same structural characteristics and really reflecting the architecture of conventional lithium-ion batteries. They also possess the same magnitude of round-trip efficiency factors, ensuring that the delivered energy is very much a replica of the input energy at startup cycles. Yet this extremely significant technological advancement is not entirely devoid of inherent limitations. Sodium ion batteries possess a lower energy density than their lithium ion counterparts, a particular aspect that has until now restricted their everyday application across numerous industries and fields. An apt question still lingers, however. Why has the battery industry been taking such great interest in the development of sodium ion technology when it is only nearly as good as the most widely utilized lithium based options and still carries performance shortfalls that cannot be overlooked? A good reason that first comes to mind is sodium itself, an element with many qualities and characteristics more than worthy of admiration. Its excellent abundance can readily be observed in the sheer quantities that exist in the vast expanses of the world's oceans. Also, the process used for sodium harvesting is much more accessible and environmentally friendly, negating the destructive mining techniques currently adopted to harvest lithium and other precious metallic elements. With energy density concerns and falling lithium prices tilting the scales, could this be a bubble waiting to burst? Or are we simply watching the painful early steps of a revolution in the making? 
Sodium ion batteries represent an interesting technological frontier in the rapidly evolving electric vehicle landscape. While industry titans like CATL, BYD, and Natron are at the forefront, my skepticism regarding their short-term viability in EV applications is pretty unflappable. The root issue here is energy density, a critical metric where sodium ion batteries consistently trail lithium batteries with much lower power-to-weight ratios. The economic dynamics behind the production of sodium ion batteries present an interesting paradox. Even though they incorporate more affordable materials in their manufacture, the batteries themselves have a higher cost per unit of stored energy due to their lower energy density. And even though the differential cost that lower cost componentry produces will presumably even out eventually, things are currently quite different. On top of this, the recent sharp 70% fall in lithium prices over the past three years driven by oversupply has seriously undermined the economic case for sodium ion technology. More recent academic research offers enlightening data on the present state of sodium ion battery technology. In February of 2025, Columbia University's Dr. Dan Steingart reported findings in Science Magazine indicating a fundamental scalability issue. Sodium ion manufacturers today do not have the requisite manufacturing scale to take advantage of economies of scale. This perspective was reinforced by a January 2025 Stanford analysis of the commercial viability path for SIBs, or sodium ion batteries, that concluded that becoming cost competitive is highly unlikely. Moreover, lithium continues to be the market leader in many industrial applications due to its existing base of supplies and manufacturing infrastructure. Even with sodium ion batteries offering plug-and-play compatibility, Altering both production and consumer preference will take some time. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle. Sodium batteries will not realize cost savings until they are mass-produced, but they may never be mass-produced unless they are already cost-competitive. This catch-22 is a significant barrier to mass adoption. Despite this, sodium-ion batteries have a potentially unique place in the technology landscape. You know, while many other emerging battery technologies are still kind of stuck in laboratory testing or are several years away from production, sodium ion batteries are already beginning to launch into the market. Aided by some of the world's leading battery producers, this compressed deployment timeline places them high on the technological readiness level for battery energy storage system best uses, at least where they perhaps receive a level 9 score but yeah, slightly lower for other uses. While sodium ion batteries, or SIBs, certainly face substantial and multifaceted hurdles to clear, from fundamental energy density limitations and manufacturing scalability challenges to intense competition from increasingly affordable lithium ion alternatives, their core issues appear notably more tractable and solvable than those plaguing many other next generation battery technologies currently in development. Unlike solid state, lithium sulfur or metal air batteries which contend with profound scientific and engineering obstacles at the material and electrochemical level, the challenges for sodium ion technology are predominantly centered on optimization, production scaling, and supply chain maturation rather than fundamental physics or chemistry breakthroughs. The architecture of SIBs closely mirrors that of conventional lithium ion batteries, meaning much of the existing manufacturing expertise Equipment and even factory layouts can be adapted rather than requiring completely new infrastructure, a significant advantage in terms of capital investment and implementation speed. Furthermore, the abundance and geographic distribution of sodium sources eliminate the geopolitical risks and supply chain bottlenecks associated with lithium, cobalt, and nickel, providing a compelling long-term argument for diversification, even if short-term economics fluctuate. If the industry can successfully scale these barriers through continued innovation in cathode and anode materials, electrolyte formulations, and cell design to boost energy density, coupled with strategic investments in production capacity to drive down costs through economies of scale, sodium ion, technology could indeed become the crucial change our energy system so sorely requires. It promises to democratize energy storage by making it more affordable, and accessible support, the integration of renewable energy through cheap and abundant grid-scale storage, reduce environmental and ethical concerns associated with mining and enhance energy security by utilizing widely available materials. SIBs may not replace lithium-ion across all applications, 
particularly where high energy density is paramount, but they could capture significant market share in sectors like stationary storage, low-speed electric vehicles, and backup power systems, creating a more diversified and resilient battery ecosystem. That being said, what is your opinion? Do you believe sodium ion batteries have sufficient potential to overcome their current limitations and gain meaningful market traction in the coming decade? Or will they remain a niche solution overshadowed by lithium ion advances and other emerging technologies? Thank you for watching.